Hello guys, welcome to our channel My Project Ideas. In this video, we will see how to create a CAPM project using SAP UI5. First of all, we need to create a new dev space that would be a full stack cloud application dev space. So let's select full stack cloud application. Let's give a dev space name as I'm giving the name of the space as CAPM. Let's create. Okay, so let's start. We choose a project from template. Let's select cap and project. Project name would be tutorial. Let's say runtime would be Node.js. Select MTA based SAP business technology platform deployment. Select basic sample files. Finish. So, guys, you see, uh, we have created a basic CAPM project with a MTA.yaml file as well. MTA.yaml file is the file that contains your major configurations of your project. Okay. Let's close this. If you want your CAPM project to be deployment ready, then I suggest you first create a standalone app router as well. So to do that, let's right click on MTA.yaml. Click on create MTA module from template. Select app router configuration. Change this to standalone app router. Click next. Okay. So you see we have an app router as well. Let's leave it as it is. Now let's create a UI5 application into a CAPM project. So let's right click on MTA.yaml again, create MTA module from template. Click on SAP Fury application. SAP UI5 application. I don't need any data source for now. Click next. I'll leave the view name as V1. I'll keep everything as it is, except I'll only change the project folder path. This project folder path should be your app folder because every UI5 application that we'll create inside this CAPM will all be inside the app folder. So let's change this to app folder. Okay. Let's click next. Leave everything as it is, click on finish. Let's wait for the dependencies to be installed. So we have a CAPM project with an app router and a basic UFA application. So let's try and run this. To run this, let's open a terminal. Okay. 
and enter the command cds works. This will create a localhost server that is running on port 4004. Let's click and open it in a new tab. Click on index.html. Okay, so let's see what's the reason for not loading. It says SAP is not defined. Guys, if you see this particular error, SAP is not defined, then what you need to do is you need to go to your UI from application, web app, index.html, and you need to replace this local URL to the remote URL. That is this particular URL. I will copy and paste this. and run the application again. You see, our app is successfully loaded. So this is how you can create a Capim project with a basic SAP UI application. Thank you for watching guys. See you next time.